Why is there even a barrel? This is how I'm going to vape it. Don't do this. Yeah. Oh. Yo, did you see that dude's build? Oh my God. What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today we're gonna to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of this review. Okay, so here's the deal. This RDA, I, I'm not sure about the first one. I wanna say it was a 24 millimeter and I, I know like I seem like I'm jumping right into it, but I'm not, give me a second. So this RDA was originally designed and a lot of people knew about this because of all the cores that you could put in it. Essentially, it's a velocity style deck with massive amount of ports. So you could build it where coils are stacking, you could build it where there are two verticals. There's a lot of different variations. Now on the original one, I never did a review because I never knew about about it. I think I was doing reviews when it came out. It's just I heard about it way too late. So I had contact and I think the owner of the company and I was offered to buy one that he had, but the issue was it was defective. I want to say the two top where the little horns are supposed to be were essentially non-threadable. I'd have to look at the message, but I know that there was something defective about it as to why I didn't get it. So when I saw the V2, oh, I gotta get this. I didn't know that it was this large though. I was really under the impression it was a 24 millimeter. The original So Horny RDA was 23 millimeters. This, however, is not 23 millimeters. This is like 27 and a half. It is very, very large. So keep that in mind. And this does come in this little package. It just says So Horny on the front. It's got a little sticker on the top, which I'm assuming is to say, hey, listen, the color of what is inside that little tube is stainless steel, even though that looks like a regular white sticker to me. This is a very, very large RDA. This isn't as big as like the Colorado or the TM30, but it's very, very tall and very wide. I don't know if I've ever done an RDA that has this kind of size to it. Again, I, I've done it on that really awkward one that was kind of small, but it was fat. What we're going to be looking at today is the So Horny V2 by Wild Bull Productions. Kind of pumped up because this is a Filipino RDA. And, you know, back in the day, they were very, very large. Like a lot of people, if you knew high end, it was Filipino stuff. Pinoy. That's just what it was. I don't know what happened in the past seven months or eight months, but I really haven't seen a lot of things that they've put out in order for me to get to do a review on so this was automatically like a huge huge flag hey pick this up and do a review on this so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing so without further ado let me bring this down show you everything inside of the tube and give you my final thoughts on the so horny by what a silly friggin name so horny v2 by wild bull productions let's Roll it, flip it, rub it down, tickle, tickle. So what you're looking at is the So Horny V2 RDA, and then on the side it says proudly made in the Philippines, made by Ross Nadal. I'm assuming that is the gentleman that runs this company, and then there's a wild bull on the front blowing out some vape. Now, the posts themselves do resemble the horns of a bull. This little baggie here, neoprene gem, reminds me of the Desh cheese. You guys remember that little baggie with the bestia, but I don't know if they're using it just for padding, but you could put something inside of there if you so wanted. Inside your other peripheral bag that you get is an O-ring and an extra post screw. That is it. This is the way that it comes. There is nothing that has not been taken out. This thing is massive. The airflow on this thing is absolutely massive. Wild Bull Productions. Now, I don't know many people that would use all of these posts, but the way that I'm gonna do it is I am gonna use it. And I'm, I'm not quite sure what it's going to pick up at. Well, I, I don't know if I'll be able to use six coils in this. It doesn't look like there's any dings, dents, burrs, spurs, or cowboy boots, but you do see some of the lines that they got going on here. So the tooling marking on this is very, very noticeable. You see it, the ridges on the very bottom of it, made by Ross Nadal Manila, Philippines. And again, lots of scratches and blemishes all over this. Brand new, never used. And then your pin even looks a little bit jacked up. Definitely hybrid safe. Figure out what those two big ass lines are right there and right there. Those are legitimate scratches in there. 
Drip tip on the top is more like a chuff cap. This does not come out. Basically, what you want to do is when you want to remove this, you just kind of unscrew it as it's threaded into the cap. You'll see more machine marks all over this. It's not really nothing you could really do. That's just the way that it is. I don't know why they went with more of a polished look on the top than they did on the barrel. You would think it'd be the other way around. Do it more on the barrel than you do the top just because the chuff cap's gonna be up there. O-rings are a little, holy shit. On the inside of the barrel is another barrel and this is what you're going to use to adjust your airflow. Obviously, we're gonna be utilizing all three of these ports. There isn't a way to shut off just like the top or just like the bottom. There isn't really a way to adjust each one individually. You have to adjust all three or if you were so inclined, you could use just the one air port, which kind of seems redundant in a sense. Like why didn't they do a half breed like that right there? You could have made it where you had three more holes here or two holes here that lined up. Since you're not allowing me to really cut these in half or do anything with it, it would have been much better to, you know, look, you have plenty of room right there on both sides to have done that. I get it, it would have made it a little bit more flimsier, but listen, if we're going all out, we might as well go all out. The way that we're gonna use this is these three ports, just like that. Once your cap is on, you're able to spin the cap to adjust the airflow, but you see how that is? Now keep in mind, if you do go to the left, that may unthread the actual chuff cap itself. But I don't know if running just two coils in this would be adequate because of how big the RDA is. You need a lot of wire on the inside there. And that is why. Your posts are very, very tall, really awkward insulator down there on the bottom. This would be your positive and this would be your negative, which is milled directly into it. Super large flathead screws. Again, you only get one of these. So if one of these are bad, it's gonna suck and you can get the idea of the actual build itself by looking at the post this is merely just for aesthetics it's gonna have nothing to do with the functionality the way that i build is i build on the higher resistance so it wouldn't be that big of a deal but this just sucks because the only option i really have is either run one directly in the middle for the center airflow or run three on each side Ugh. That's gonna be a pain in the asshole. I guess I'm doing six fucking coils. Crazy part is the cut for the flathead is not very deep as well. Man, that threading is intense. I'm be 100% honest with you. Usually threading from Filipino RDAs is very, very smooth. This, I don't feel like it is. Almost makes me think that this was made in China. Look at the cut of the screw. You see that, how it's at an angle? You see it right here, see? See how when it goes straight in, it's not all the way in, right there? So let's put a build in it, it's gonna be massive.
Once again, that is the So Horny V2 by Wild Bull. Let's bring it on the top. <laughs> I already know what's gonna happen, is they're gonna flag the shit. This is my music, man! Don't play my shit! So now, if that happens, and you hear like a circus song over that while I'm dancing with that, know in your head, I had me so horny rolling out. Okay, what? I get it, I get it, I get the joke, I get it. So it's a bull, and the posts are like horns. So horny, two posts. So horny V2, so horny, me too. No? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> listen, 26 gauge, nine wraps, three coils, stacked in series. Here we go. This is picking up at a 0.19, 107 watts. I, I, I don't think that's going to be enough of power, and I don't think that there's any juice. So before we... <laughs> Before I show you vapor production, what's very, very important to note is this isn't a 30 mil. It's not even a 24. It's like a 27 and a half. I think it's supposed to be a 26 and a half, but for whatever reason, dude, I had to measure this like eight different times. I don't know what they were going for. I don't know why they didn't just run with the 24 option. I, I can't mock it, but. 27 point, I'm getting point four eight. It was it moved around a little bit. It's such a weird size and it's so tall. And remember, the airflow I have to use all the way. Oh, I'm gonna have to put more power through it. Let's put more power through it. Let's do a hundred and, I, I don't know, 140 watts. Here we go. It's way too much airflow. Way too much airflow. Let me cut that down a little bit. Getting really good vapor production. I'm getting really good flavor. I would hope so with fucking 48 coils inside of my RDA. Shit should taste like I'm drinking the juice. Ah, oh, me so horny. <sighs> Guys, there is just entirely too much airflow. Let me bring this back a little bit. Uh, let me show you some. I, you know, I really, I, I can't go back any further. You know what's crazy too is typical of most Filipino stuff is really direct lung-esque, like not super direct lung like how this is, but more of a restrictive direct lung, like the way that I like to vape. But this is a totally different approach, a lot of airflow. And it really sucks because I would love to cut down just the top and use four coils. I couldn't do fuse claptons because I would have been rocking like a 0 .05 build and God knows how everybody reacts. Oh my God. Like, I don't know why your buttons are that far apart from each other. You got a special type of keyboard, you know, like one of those braille jammies. Um, <laughs> I don't think, well, wouldn't all keys be braille? They, no? Okay, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't, nope. So much air, try to cut that down even more. We're gonna go a little bit more than halfway. So that's where we're at with airflow. It's a little too tight now. I know before I even vape on this, with just the one point in the middle, I would not recommend that if you're running three coils. They do need proper ventilation, air hitting it to cool it down. This RDA does not get hot, absolutely not. And that that's a bright side of running that much air through it. You're basically putting all the cold air from outside and into this RDA with those holes. Like, why is there even a barrel? Just, <laughs> just, just do this. Same, let me make sure that's wet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put a disclaimer on the screen. Don't do what I'm about ready to do so you can save your lips. Cause I know there's gonna be that person. Oh my God, he did that. Oh my God, he walked on slime. He walked on rat's glue, right? Like they do that on Mythbusters, but you don't see a bunch of people putting fucking rat glue on the ground trying to run through it. This is how 
I'm gonna vape it. Don't do this. Yeah. Oh. You're not seeing the vape. That sucks. Because they're... Oh. Mm -mm. I think there's a reason why it's designed that way. Okay, so let's just do the uh, the one little port right there. Here we go. That is actually optimal, but not with six coils like this is. So when I look at this and when I use this, I think of the Colorado. Or I think of something ridiculous, like this fucking thing. Like, absolute. I don't even remember. What, what is it? VCMT2? Yeah. Like, absolutely massive. Well, it's not practical. And most people, well, I guess if you have a big enough mod, you may carry this around. It's just not ideal. On the RX Gen 3 Dual, you will see that it's bigger than the mod. Like, it's that large. So you would have to put this... I just, I really can't recommend this to anybody. I, I seriously can't. On a realness. Now, if you're into builds doing exotic shit, you want to get crazy with verticals, this is going to give you the option. Now, I know when he was building this, that's not what he was thinking about because the way that the screws go down. So this has to be designed for six coils the way that that is. It looks like a friggin' Christmas tree from the side. And I couldn't, could not get that top screw to go all the way in and i tried the second screw remember when i was pointing at it it stuck out i you saw it and i didn't do any jump cuts when i was screwing it down what happened the flat head slipped out and almost jabbed my fucking finger that's why i hate flat heads i get it if it was a phillips i could have jacked it up even worse if i didn't use the proper size but i was i don't even know what the proper size screwdriver is for this because it doesn't come with one it would be nice then i would have known hey listen you could judge it by this but even the screws didn't go down so i can't do builds like i did here of course i got it to work that's without a doubt i mean you could see that it is getting white on all ends of this we're having a really hard time yeah like you see that so it is wicking good that's not a problem it's just Realistically, why would you buy this? Yo, did you see that dude's build with the 48 coils? No, no, don't, nope. The machining on this is not very well done on the barrel. You see the lines. The machining on the top part where it's polished is well done, but it's not finished good enough. The screws, while effective or defective, don't work very well with thinner wire. Now, if I had a build in there that was the size of the tip of a pen, I'm sure that would have got tightened down perfectly fine. Why would you put six of those coils inside of this? And the mod that you have to use to run that, don't expect to use a 250C or something. You need a lot of power. Granted, I could have done I could have done ridiculous shit. I could have put it on the Couture, the Berserker. That that wouldn't have been a problem. It's not practical. I didn't even want to put six coils in this because I didn't want to waste the wire. It's not about the build. Well, okay. Ah, let me just slap another disclaimer on the screen. How many of these are really going to sell? Like, how many people are really going to buy this device? If I was to rate this device on a 0 to 10, I'm going to give it like a 3. The machining is fucking horrible on the barrel. Like, I, I, I can't make that up. You saw that. And, and that, I know, while that's an aesthetic thing, I had to buy this from a UK website because that's the only site that I saw that this was available to buy. But I think it was like 95 pounds, which is equivalent to about 110, 120 bucks. Well, I don't think that it's a super ripoff for what this is because I am going to keep it. I am going to collect it because there's going to be that one person that's like, Oh my God, you guys remember, I think it was the Legionnaire RDA or the, the Legion or the Sky Legion, how it had, there was like, okay, so you could do four coils on one side. I think it was called Legionnaire. Getting something like this is not practical for everyday use. If you want to get something like this and put it on your desk and occasionally pick it up and rip it, absolutely go for it. But again, building on this is not much of a pain but i hate when posts share the same port meaning that one coil on one side and the other coil on the other side are sharing the same exact port so as you turn it down those either have to be stacked or side by side when i'm saying stacked i'm saying on top of each other or side by side so as a screw goes down it clamps both of those and 26 gauge wire is not thick enough granted 22 would have worked fine so would have 20 24 possibly, but 
why? I can't recommend this. I guess the only people I'm going to recommend this to is if people want to do some crazy shit and put some crazy build inside of their RDA. Other than that, I don't see why you would go out and go buy this. And I don't even think a lot of people from the Philippines are going to be pissed off about this because it's not really that realm of what the Philippine stuff is typically done as. This is just extra. That's all it is, is extra RDA. I've kept it real. Have you? Jay is out.